recovering perfectionist right here. I mean, this whole idea of done versus perfect had me shaking in my boots. But the minute I started putting it into practice, my life and the lives of the clients that I work with have opened up. We're in more of a flow, things are more easeful, and I want the same thing for you, so stay tuned. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video each Thursday. Done versus perfect. Let me tell you, if we think that things have to be perfect before it sees the light of day, chances are some of the things we've created will never be out there in the world. We'll never be able to share our gifts, our talents with others. As a recovering perfectionist, I can tell you that wrapping my head around this concept of done versus perfect was a really tough one. But for me and my clients, when we get to that point, it allows a different type of flow. There's a different type of motivation for the work we're doing and things can be much more easeful. Today, I wanna to share with you my top three tips for stepping into the done versus perfect mindset. Tip number one, set a deadline for yourself. Do not underestimate this step. If you are working on something and it needs to get out into the world, set a deadline and stick to it. Hold yourself accountable. In fact, you can hold yourself accountable even further by sharing that deadline with an accountability partner or with the people who are part of your personal board of directors. There's a video about that. I'll link to it here. Tip number two, share what you're creating with people who support you. So if you put something out there and you don't think it's perfect, but you know it's done, you know it's done and it's been ready to be out there into the world, share it with the people that you know support you. They're gonna give you feedback, they're gonna uplift you if you have any doubt, they're gonna keep you moving forward. So share it with the people that you trust, that you know love you, and they're gonna give you the inspiration and that calming energy you need to keep that thing out there in the world. I wanna know, what type of thinker are you? Are you a done type of person or are you a perfect type of person? Tell me why, comment below. Tip number three, reward your effort. Don't reward the perfect product, reward the effort that you put into the creation of whatever it is you're putting out there in the world. You might be releasing a report. You might be putting a product out there. You might be creating an online course for people to look at. You might have had to turn something in at work. Whatever it is, reward the effort you put into making that happen. Are you ready to step into done versus perfect thinking? It's a different mindset, it's a different way of living, and I hope you choose to embrace it. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video each Thursday. If you know somebody who could benefit from a little done versus perfect mindset, be sure to share this video with them. Stay ignited out there. I will see you soon. Bye.